The other thing to be doing in the garden and the greenhouse this time of year is seeding. This year with so many people at home because of the coronavirus, um, gardening is, is a source of solace for people. Growing seeds, particularly vegetables, very time consuming, gives us something to do during these, these days at home. It's important for new gardeners to be able to distinguish between um, what they should seed and when. And that's the same really in some ways as bedding plants because some vegetables are hardy and some vegetables are tender. And if you go on the website and look at what to do in April in the garden, there's quite a lot of information there about what you can sow outside now because it's hardy, such as broad beans. These are broad beans that are ready for planting out. These were in fact germinated in the greenhouse, but I've just sown some directly into the soil as well. Remember, everything you sow together will flower and fruit together. So to avoid a glut, successional sowing or planting and fortnightly is a good way to do it because it's kind of easy to remember I sowed last weekend so I don't sow this weekend I sow the next week. So some vegetables are hardy so uh, you can have onions out I'm just looking at my vegetable plot remembering what I've got out there onions, uh, garlic, parsley, lettuces are surprisingly hardy. Obviously if there's a frost frost I'll probably throw something over them to protect them they're hardy, they will take the cold, but there's no reason to uh, expose them to really low temperatures if we get a proper frost. But they're, they're happy and will continue growing in the garden, even though some days are quite chilly. Then there is a whole selection of vegetables which are tender, and into this category we put tomatoes, squashes, cucumbers, courgettes, runner beans, French beans, all need to go out only when the risk of frost has passed. Now you can germinate them earlier uh, in the greenhouse and conserve you on a windowsill. I'm just going to show you, uh, if you're new to gardening and you don't have either the time, money or resource or because the garden centres are closed, ability to buy propagators, you can make a small homemade propagator. Now this is ideal if you're just sowing one or two seeds. Perhaps you're sowing, these happen to be an annual, by way of an illustration because I've sown most of my seeds but um, if you were sowing say um, courgettes or cucumbers you might not want to sow a whole tray through because they produce so many so it's usual to, to sow about three so when you filled your pot with compost just press it down gently because with all seeds you don't want air pockets if the roots of a new very small plant grow into an area with an air pocket and there's no water, there's no food, real risk that the seedling will, will, will die. So just tap it down gently and then we take the seed. The actual seeding isn't that important but we'll pop it in and we will water it. But I'm just going to show you how to make this propagator because it's really handy if you're going to sow tender seeds such as squashes, courgettes, cucumbers to get them going because what you do, use a polythene bag and this bag actually fits very snugly over the top. And what it does is it, it, it produces a uh, really tight seal that enables it to warm up inside, it seals in the moisture and it makes a perfect little propagator until the seedlings emerge. If the bag's in danger of collapsing, put a um, piece of bamboo or something in to keep it upright, but when it's as tight as this, it normally stays in position quite well. If you can't get the right size bag to pot, use an elastic band to create a seal, and that will produce an ideal germination environment for two or three plants. And just to mention like little seedlings such as these, which are uh, parsley. Um, you can see how small they are. They're really fragile when they're like this and this is why growing things from seed uh, produces uh, activity, keeps everyone busy and that's one of the things that we need over these coming weeks of lockdown. The seed has only got a tiny root and if they dry out these seeds will die so they need to be checked every day to make sure that there's sufficient moisture that they've not dried out because the seedling is only in the top eighth of an inch of soil and that's the very part of the soil that will dry out and that's why it's really important to check seedlings and check plants every day to make sure that they're disease free, how they're getting on and that they're properly watered and then as soon as they produce what's called their real leaves and I 
don't think I've got anything to hand but so these will produce a parsley shaped leaf and when they produce those real leaves that's the time to prick them out which will involve taking out each little seedling take it out by its leaves not its stem and planting it in another little pot to grow on for a few weeks till it becomes sturdy enough to to plant outside.